Replacing a torn window screen is very easy to do. Not only will it prevent insects from getting into your house, but uh, replacing it will improve the look of your house, which you know you want to keep looking as nice as possible. The first thing you want to do is remove the old screen by removing the old spline, which is this cord that uh, tucks into the channel that holds the screen in place. Uh, you can uh, dig it out with the end of a screwdriver or a screw, or something pointed, and then just pull it out. You uh, might be able to reuse the spline when you put the new screen in, but I, I, tend to, I find that a lot of times it's very brittle and you don't want to do that if you don't have to. New, new spline is pretty cheap. So once you've got that removed, the screen comes right out. And you want to try and keep it intact as much as possible just for the purposes of cutting the new screen to size. So what you want to do is buy the same type of material that you're replacing at the home center, lay it out, put the old screen screening on top of the, the new, and leave you know at least an inch margin on each side. In this case, I'm just going to leave these two sides longer and then just cut this about an inch beyond using a straight edge and a utility knife. And it does not have to be a precise cut because you're going to be trimming off the excess anyway. Okay, with the new screening cut, you want to lay the frame out and set it over it. And now you're going to start attaching it with the spline. You want to start at one corner of your choosing. And with a spline roller, use the, the wheel with a groove in it. There are two wheels on there, but one has a groove which hugs the spline and presses it into place. And once you've got it started, you want to pull the screen tight in this particular span as you roll it into place. And then when you get to the corner, you want to make sure to keep it tight in there as you turn the corner, being careful not to bunch up the screen under it. And then when you're done putting the spline into place, you're simply going to trim it off at the end. And then with your utility blade, you're going to trim off the excess screen all the way around, being careful to make the blade come in contact only with the outer edge and not the spline or the inside edge of the screen itself. And once you've done that, it's done.